IT operations veterans are familiar with the concept of service level agreements or SLAs. In short, an SLA is a commitment made by the ops team to its parent business to guarantee a certain level of quality in the service it provides, namely batch management. In this context, quality levels are measured by time. The most critical batch processes, those whose run times matter, are to be delivered at a certain pace and no later than a certain time. Failing means we're late, we've missed an SLA. The purpose of this video is to explain how this notion of SLA translates into the AI world. AI is among many things a powerful monitoring and supervision solution. It collects information which it uses to derive average run times for all supervised processes via job streams. Managing SLAs is a natural extension of this capability. Since AI knows how long a process should take, it can easily detect overruns without specific configuration. In the alerting module, we show how alerts are associated with SLAs and triggered when they are missed. In AAI, the SLA can be set three ways. First, we can let AAI set the SLA based on historical records and averages. It's automated. The other two options require user input. In the first case, we can set a hard time, say 9 a.m. This is useful for longer processes that execute once a day, always at a set time. A process starts at 9 p.m. and takes around 11 hours to execute. We hard set the SLA to 9 a.m. the next day. If that process takes more than 12 hours to complete, the SLA is missed. The third option uses the runtime to set the SLA. We decide how long a process takes to complete, say under two hours. We should all be familiar with the notion of service level agreements. It's a commitment by the IT departments to run batch processes within a certain time frame. If we fail to do this, we miss the SLA which can have serious impacts on the business. As an effective batch supervision solution, AAI is in a prime position to perform SLA management. Note that in and of themselves, SLAs don't do anything. They're just a number associated with every job stream in the solution. Active features like alerts use SLAs to notify job owners when a process is late. In AAI, SLAs are visible in every job stream with a red vertical dotted line. And by default, the SLA is defined as the average end time plus two standard deviations. There are three possible options to define an SLA. The first is the automated option called System Allocated Late Criterion. AI is continuously calculating averages based on ongoing executions, and this number keeps evolving over time. Fluctuating runtimes mean greater SLA variations. This is the default method. The second is the explicit end time, which is user-based. We have a workflow that runs every day at 9 p.m., and takes around 10 hours to complete on average. We set the SLA to 9 a.m. the next day. The third option is the fixed duration, which sets the SLA on the runtime. We have a process that runs every hour with an average runtime of 45 minutes. We set the SLA to an hour. Know this, every time you see the notion of a late job stream throughout AAI's interface, whether it's in monitoring or the alerts, the definition of late is based on the SLA. SLA options are found in the Late Criterion tab of every job stream and the features are always enabled. All job streams have an SLA number, whether we make use of it or not. Then we have the three options we just explained. The first is system calculated based on the average duration plus some level of statistical variance. The second is the end time set by the user. And the last is the fixed duration, again fixed by the user. For all three, we get an explanation of how this is currently calculated by AI. We've created a business area called SLA for demo purposes. We're going to use two job streams. The first is the DB process. It runs on the cyclical basis and takes about 45 minutes to complete. We can see two lines, blue for average runtime, red for SLA. These values are generated automatically since we have multiple runs. Let's edit the job stream. The default option is System Calculated Criterion. The system tells us the average duration and the statistical variance. The SLA value is based off of this. We decide that the automated value isn't exactly what we need since we expect it to increase over time. Let's set a hard SLA runtime value of 50 minutes.
When we do this, the red line moves right by a few minutes. This time we use a job stream whose average runtime is around two and a half to three hours. This particular run started at 10.45 and ended just before two. We decide to end the SLA a bit later, say 2.15. Use caution with this function. Some job streams will cross the midnight point and complete the following day. If you set the SLA manually to a hard time, AI can still predict a next day finish, which would take precedence over the hard time you're setting. But you can decide to override this feature and enforce the time, then set your own number of days when the job stream will finish after it started. We save. Again, the red line moves forward by 15 minutes. We mentioned this earlier, but it's worth repeating. Every time you see the word late to define a job stream in the AI interface, you can be sure that this calculation is based entirely on the SLA. This includes the monitoring tab, the dashboard tab, the alerting engine, and much more.